Hello folks, this is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notifications, sharing my videos, giving me them super big thumbs up, sending me your nice old comments, and if you got a question for me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I can't help you with your baby mama drama, but I might be able to help you with your car. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. Don't be the next to them, be the first to you. In this video, we're going to talk about service Stabililink. Um, now, this is a 2008 Pontiac Torrent. This is going to be the same as the 2007 or older Saturn Views, the Chevy Equinox. But primarily, we're going to deal right around the 2004 to 2008 flavors for the Chevy Equinox and the Saturn Views, etc., etc., so in this situation, we got a couple things going on. We got a check engine light, we got an ABS light, and our indicator is telling us that the Stabila link is off. I think I know exactly why the Stabila link is on. I think we also have a steering angle sensor that is bad inside here. So what I've done is I took out my scanner. This is a Maxxis 908P. And I've went through and I've read all the code. I'm more worried about these codes inside here, electronic brake control. And when I go to that, and then I go to trouble codes, and then I go to read codes. Up front wheel speed sensor. So that more than likely means I need to replace the whole wheel bearing over there. I got a device power circuit low, and I've got a steering sensor calibration data not programmed. So I believe that I can reprogram that. So I'm going to go back in and see if I can get the Stabila link light off. And we'll see if we can reprogram that. Steering position sensor circuit, which is what I thought. I didn't do this before because if I did, then what would have happened was I wouldn't be able to make video of it. Okay, so we'll center the steering wheel. And then we'll press OK. Turn the steering wheel 45 degrees to the left. Center the steering wheel, then turn a quarter turn to the right. Calibration completed. Clear DTC information. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the key, remove it, and then I'm going to reinsert it, start up the vehicle. I'm going to make sure I go back to the home screen here, then I'm going to start up the vehicle, read the codes, and see if I still have that particular code set inside the system. And I have no fault codes in there right now at this time. So, hopefully our Stabila track light is off. Well, it looks like we're going to have to replace that front left wheel bearing, just like the scanner said, and then we'll come back and see if we still have codes. So we got the front left wheel bearing replaced here on the driver's side, and I'm very happy to say that we have no more codes inside here, and our service to Billa Link is off. Now, actually, we have no codes whatsoever. I drove the vehicle. It drives excellent. Hopefully this video was informative and helpful to you folks out there. I know there's a lot of things that turn the Stabila Link light on, but this is one of the possible causes for that. Please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, giving me them big old thumbs up, and sending me your nice comments. If you got a question for me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I'll happily try to answer your automotive related needs. Sorry, I can't help you with your money problems. I have them too. God bless. Have the best of days. Remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. Don't be the next of them, be the first. Of them.